Today we're going to look at how you can create a Turnitin.com assignment within one of your Schoology courses. If you haven't used Turnitin.com before with Schoology or you haven't used Turnitin.com at all, you will create your account by creating your first assignment inside one of your Schoology courses. So to get started, first thing you're going to do is navigate to one of your Schoology courses and you're going to look for a place where you want to insert this school, this Turnitin.com assignment. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to make this a homework assignment. So I'm going to add materials to my Schoology course, and the material you're going to choose is Add File, Link, or External Tool. So now when we click on this, we have three choices, and you're going to select External Tool. In the external toolbox, you're going to click on the top drop-down menu, and you're going to look for turnitin.com. The next thing you're going to include is a title for this particular assignment. So let's say, for instance, this is going to be the persuasive essay that the students are going to be writing and submitting. In order for you and the students to be able to interact with this turnitin.com assignment, you are going to click Enable Grading. You can assign a point value to this if you want, but you must select a category and all the other requirements that a school G material would require. So I'm going to pick my category, decide if I'm going to sync this to my SIS, and then I'm also going to choose a due date. So once you have all of these settings set up, you're going to click Submit. So once you have clicked Submit, this has now created the assignment, but we're going to have to adjust some settings. So the next step, which we're going to go over in the next video, is how to adjust these settings by going into this assignment. So you'll notice when I click on this assignment that I just created inside Schoology, the framework of Turnitin.com is going to open up here, and I'll now be able to adjust all the settings for this Turnitin.com assignment. So what kinds of settings do I want my students to have, including start date, due date, and some of the optional settings, which we'll go through in the next video.